Hello, my name is Niall Brophy from Perfect Image in Newcastle upon Tyne. Today I'm going to show you some of the basics of the ClickView Business Intelligence product from ClickTech. ClickView is a very easy system to use. Uh, we actually use it internally here at Perfect Image to query um, a number of different databases, and we certainly certainly find it intuitive. It uses what's known as in-memory technology, uh, which allows for a um, very fast uh, return on queries. And from a user perspective, it um, color codes the data, and we'll see this in a moment, um, in a very effective fashion to allow people to um, start with a potentially initial query, but then easily change their mind uh, as they go through the data. So if you look at the, uh, the bottom right of my screen here, I have um, color coding for selected data in green. That's the actual selection that uh, is made. Associated data in white, which is the, uh, the data returned based on that selection. And crucially, unrelated data is also shown in grey, and we'll see that as we step through. So I have a couple of uh, columns of data here. I have um, three uh, fruits on the left-hand margin, banana, blueberry, tomato, and the potential colours uh, on the right-hand side, blue, green, red, and yellow. So if I select banana, uh, my selection is in green, and the associated data, the data that's returned by that selection, is shown in white. So in this case, uh, we can see that... Uh, Bananas are clearly yellow. The um, unrelated data, though, crucially, is also returned. And this is one of the things that sets ClickView apart, potentially, from the uh, the more traditional OLAP-based business intelligence uh, systems. So I've put a simple query in there, but uh, I may decide that actually it's the color that I want to query on, and it's actually blue that I'm concerned with. So if I click on blue we can see that, um, sure enough, blueberry is, is returned as, as the answer. And once again, we have um, the non-associated or unrelated data showing in grey. So the query tool is a, is a dynamic tool. Users are not uh, stuck with one query at a time. If I change my mind slightly again, if I clear my selection and say it's green is the, is the query I'm making, OK, we can see that um, the only answer that's coming back there is tomato. So tomatoes are green, I guess. Now, we also know that uh, tomatoes clearly could be red. So just by way of showing you multiple selection, if I select green and red together, uh, my data correctly is still uh, showing me that tomato is the only answer in that scenario. So the interface is dynamic, and we're not simply uh, left with preset uh, data cubes. So if we try and show you that with um, potentially slightly more realistic data. So if I clear my selection and change my data tab. Now here we have um, three different columns of data. We have film directors down the left-hand margin, we have film titles in the middle, and the actors that are potentially uh, in those films on the right-hand side. So if I decide to query the film Three Godfathers, we can see that my um, selected data, Three Godfathers, is shown in green. My associated data, the answer to my query, is shown in white. So we have John Ford as the director of Three Godfathers and the various actors um, on the right-hand side that, have, that were in the film. Now looking at those actors, uh, I noticed that we have John Wayne there as um, one of the actors in, in the film. So if my interest is drawn to that, I can change my selection. So if I click John Wayne and unselect Three Godfathers, what I'm basically saying is just give me all the, um, the films and the directors associated with John Wayne. So I guess as we know, John Wayne's been in quite a few films. As you can see down in the middle column here, but if I scroll down, uh, clearly he's not been in every film in our data set. And if I look on the, on the, on the right-hand side, I can see that um, a fair number of directors have um, directed films starring John Wayne. And in this particular data set, um, we have a handy tool in terms of a, a number indicator. So we can see that John Ford has directed 14 particular films starring John Wayne. So if that's of interest to me, I can make a further selection. So I'm now saying basically uh, I'm interested in John Wayne and John Ford as a, as a combination. And I guess we're back to where we started in the sense that we have the, the three Godfathers uh, returned, but also all the other films that, that match that combination. and. Of course, the non-associated data is always presented uh, as well in grey, so I've got the ability to change my mind and start my selection at that point as well. 
But just by way of comparison, if I clear my selection and show you the way a traditional OLAP system would work, so this is not the way uh, ClickView behaves, if I was to select Alan Alder from my column of directors, I'm, I'm returned with the titles, or single title in this case, for Alan Alder films and the various actors. But that's predefined. I can't go any further than that. It's predefined, pre-built uh, data. This is very different to the way ClickView um, presents things, because ClickView stores all of the data uh, once and makes associations uh, between uh, all of the elements. OK, so hopefully that's given you an initial uh, feel for ClickView as to how simple it is to use and how powerful it can be at the same time. If you have a look on our uh, site, you'll see um, some further uh, demonstrations of ClickView, including um, some with um, some more business-minded data sets. So thank you for your time. I uh, hope you found that interesting and useful. And um, if you require further information, please don't hesitate to get in touch.